Hi, welcome to SBR Sports Picks. I'm Peter Lozak. His name is Mike Brenner. We are the Odds Couple. This is the MLB uh, Odds Couple show for Monday, September 26th. Mike Brenner, it's a weird mm. time of the year, right? You have to be very careful. There can be good value, as always. Uh, it's the last week of the uh, regular season before the playoffs. Yeah. Small slate of games. Unexpected lineup changes can happen. Hey, buddy, before we get too, yeah. too far ahead of ourselves, Pistol Pete, for me, grew up a fan my whole life before I ever got into this end. I'm a fan first at the mm -hmm. end of the day, and... Uh, I had a hard time yesterday, Pete. I had no mm -hmm. business putting ball games out. Actually, mm. actually, uh, yeah, took it out. Uh, that, that thing with Jose Fernandez, that oh. messed, it messed me up, Pete. Really? I woke up. Yeah, well, yeah, mm. it did. I'm, I'm a fan before I even think about wagering and always mm -hmm. have been, and that'll never leave me. And that just really, really impacted me mm. hard because I know the story behind it with him coming to the country and everything. Mm. And uh, just so want to note, just right. a tribute today to number 16. Interesting. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, I mean, it messed I'm, me I'm up. A... I had no business picking games yesterday. It cost a friend of mine a, 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 a really? lot of money because I was totally out of focus. The plan I had together the night before totally got changed when I heard the news in the morning of Jose Fernandez. Not wow. making an excuse, but it really screwed my day up. But uh, my heart is out to his 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 family. It was a hard thing to, to look at, the videos of wow. him, his grandmother, Abuela. So God bless their family and uh, for real. Okay. At the end of the day, Pete, this sure. is, you know, family's but everything. That, well, yes, absolutely. What a touchy tribute. I guess, uh, mm. yeah, I guess we got to uh, take the lesson is to not handicap when yeah. uh, when something's affecting oh, us emotionally. Wow. Absolutely. Was, yeah. All so, right. Let's well, move on. Okay. With that. Yeah. Well, today's uh, card, Monday, September 26. It is it is a tricky point of, of the season, but uh, there's some things that are kind of a uh, universal and guys, starting pitchers who are, you know, auto fades. Hey, we just lost the, one of the ticket cashing as pitchers in baseball. Baseball. This kid hadn't even scratched the surface. Uh, Fernandez. Do you know his last start? Uh, no. 21 batters in a row he put out really? after the game. He said, I don't know why, but I pitched the most complete game I ever pitched. All right, he was supposed to start Sunday, but they pushed him off one day mm. because of the outing when he put 21 out in a row. He was, you know, he exhausted himself. So they gave him the extra day off, and people think he was on the water at 3.30 drinking and partying, not one bit. He was there to help a friend was going through some emotional stuff and went out on the boat with him to be with him. That's a true story. That kid is amazing. It's a shame. Yeah. Damn it, man, when too young. I'll, I'll shut up. Oh, now, no, Pete. it's okay. It's okay. Do you but want to? Uh, <laughs> he was. He, and he's scheduled to pitch. He was scheduled to pitch today, obviously. They, they blew the game off yesterday. It's affecting everybody in Major League Baseball. Big Poppy yesterday was like, I don't want to tribute in Tampa for my last game here. I want to tribute for Jose. And uh, today, uh, Gio Gonzalez says he doesn't know when he's going to be able to take the mound again for the Nationals. That's mm. a friend of his. This is the impact this kid had. I didn't realize just how damn good he was. Was it 24, oh, yeah. 27 games he won at home? Oh, he, yeah, he, was, he, was, he was lights out. He was uh, automatic for a while there at home, uh, <sighs> taking him as a big fave, sure. Was wow. like paid off. Anyway, again, it's just uh, just got to get it. No, out, that's buddy. okay. Really that's okay. <laughs> Can I? Uh, all right. Yeah. So uh, 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 James Shields is on the mound today, and he is uh, continues to be a uh, a guy that is 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 struggling big time, right? Does and, what he does uh, best. You know, I, 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 I feel like I feel like I you know I have a pretty good read on when he's likely to struggle more than at other times, and uh, I think he's in for a rough day today, and uh, I'm looking to uh, to fade him. Smiley as well, probably, and uh, I'm going to take shots with uh, the overs on the first five innings at five and the full game at uh, at nine and i'm thinking about maybe just uh, going for it full on and taking both team total why overs. not why not one mo, bo, one of them was probably going to get hit both of them i think are going to cash and so uh, i'll take shots with with both team total overs okay. uh, the white Sox is four and tampa bay is four and a half so that's uh, i'm taking overs four different ways you know end of the year <laughs> you know, why May, not why not sure and then uh, there's one other game that i'm definitely going to give and this is just uh, kind of a, another no-brainer uh st louis i don't know what their deal is uh, at home but they're a massive favorite here and wow, uh, you got to go the other way right yeah cincinnati has enough life to them and who's I, towing the rubber for since uh, edelman which is not okay. which is not too inspiring but you know <laughs> look if you if, if if this line if you give if they make the line high enough i, I have to pull the trigger on it and uh, i'm going to take cincinnati just at plus one which okay. will still be decent plus money and that uh, should be about plus 125, plus 130 or so. Maybe St. Louis, uh, you know, turns things around and wins by two. But uh, just the way things have gone, the time ah. of year, the big dog line, it adds the up. The trend your friend it. on that one, buddy. Yeah. yeah. And then there's just one more that I'm going to uh, add for sure, and that's going to be Oakland on the first five. Sean okay. Manea is a guy who, uh, you know, we've yeah, talked deal. about him uh, all year long, a guy who, uh, you know, has good stuff, good potential, has struggled at times and put it together. Uh, you know they're at, trying to ink him to a long-term deal. They don't yeah. want to let him go. So. And he uh, has been pitching really well recently, and I yeah. think that he'll be able to maintain that here. And then Jared Weaver, a guy I have no problem I fading. thought he was done, right? Yeah, well, he's he, he scrapped it together with, a, what do they call it, duct tape and scotch tape, <laughs> one way or another, which is to his credit, though. You know, he's a, he's a, he's a crafty veteran.
veteran who, who really uh, knows how to, how to be mediocre, even with the client. And he stuff. wants to go out in style and beat his brother Jeff and have better stats than Jeff, for real. That motivates him. So. All right, but, I'm, but I'm, I'm, I have no problem fading him right now with a guy like Manea, So And, and okay. the line is, uh, is small enough. So I'm going to take Oakland minus 110 on the uh, first five innings. That's another pick that I'm given. And uh, that might be it. Mike Brenner, did, did Mike, you, have you a, just said it was. Now Mike, well, you're well, probably going to pull a few out of there. I don't know. There's a few others that, that are looking kind of interesting. But uh, what do you have for us today? Um, I got, you know, I'm just trying to stick with one big solid play. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm trying to refocus. Uh, never an excuse guy, but that just threw me for a loop yesterday. I'm going the Cubbies today. They're going for win number 100. All right, Chad Kuehl is towing the rubber for Pittsburgh. It's in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh does not have a great home field advantage over this team. You're trying to get that 100th win. That's huge. That's big. Everybody on this team is going to be up for this today. I think it's an absolute no-brainer, and I think it's mm -hmm. a run line. Give me a pistol peak. Well, it's not well, out. Yeah, you're definitely getting a great. Uh, you're, yeah, yeah. you're definitely getting a great starter with Hendricks, who's of been course. Uh, maybe Total the most reliable. under the. Yeah, and uh, the question is just who's the, who are the Cubs going to play? Do you have yeah. any intel? Yes, on, I like, do. I, I think right now today there's not one of them that says you can uh -huh. sit me, coach. We're going mm -hmm. for win number 100. You know what, coach? I feel like playing baseball today because there's somebody mm -hmm. I want to play for today. All right, that's uh, um, all right. That's uh, and, yeah. and you think you think run line. I'm not thinking about it. Pete, give it to okay, me. What's plus, the best plus, run line? Uh, best run line would be plus uh, at the Greek, plus 105. That's a good shot. I like that. I think it's a no-brainer. And uh, I'm, I'm just putting one more. I do one game, mm -hmm. but today I'm doing this because I just need to do it, and I'm doing this for number 16. I don't care what the line is, what the payback is. Don't mm. care if it wins, fucking mm. loses. I don't care what it mm. does. No All right, pick. Conley on the mound. Give me Miami oh. Marlins. Just one win. And an official pick? I want an official pick. Okay, the best yeah. line right now would be plus 111 at plus the Greek. Plus 111, all right. Yeah. Nobody on that team can't tell me they ain't going to bring it today, mm. Pete. Yeah, and I was thinking about about a shot with the under on that one as well because Conley's been decent and Cologne has been Cologne. You know, he's another. He's a he's Jared Weaver uh, plus. He's a, he's a better version of Jared Weaver, a more impressive version of Jared yeah. Weaver. So I, I will take the under in that one. Under yeah. eight and a half. I mean, do, don't minus you think doesn't Conley have to pitch the game of his life today, Pete? Yeah, and he's been doing he's been doing uh, decently recently as well. Uh, the question is just uh, Cologne, but. Cologne, I think, will be. Uh, I think, will you have any reason to believe that Cologne, for a psychological factor, won't have a good game? Uh, I, th I think Cologne's mind's going to be somewhere else today. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm going to tell you right now, there's not going to be a dry eye in that place mm -hmm. when this, if this game even happens. I've mm -hmm. even heard they could cancel this thing. Mm -hmm. They might even cancel this thing yet because players are having a big mm -hmm. time dealing with this. Um, All right. People, you know what, though? This, yeah. I don't know that an impact will be felt on an organization as much as this. You've got a future a Cy Young. I mean, not Cy Young, but he would have been a, a Hall of Famer. Mm -hmm. All right. And that you, that organization, I can't even talk, wouldn't even let this. They would not have let this guy go. They would have kept him forever. How do they bounce back as an organization from this loss, Pete? This is this is unbelievable. The impact hasn't been felt yet. Well, you think they're going to bounce back today, though? No, I do. One day. One then, day. One day, and then it's over. D. So, Gordon. So D. Gordon be, can't hmm. even put a sentence together. That was one of his best friends. And, uh... Again, I'm not trying to wear this thing sure. out. It's just this impact kept me up last night. It screwed me up yesterday. Interesting and analysis. So you you think that Miami's going to have today, a big bounce back today and I, then I, have a hard time bouncing back after that? I do, exactly. Huh. I really do. Don Mattingly's having a hard time just managing himself. And uh, bottom line, the Mets, they're rolling right now. They got everything to play for. But when Hart steps in the middle, uh, everything changes. Check out Sports Bit on Monday. We recap the weekend in football, plus big game breakdown. Monday night football and the Mets and the Marlins. 13 6 and 1 in football. We'll have an opinion on the Monday night game coming up. Tune in Monday. Check it out, Paulie and Teddy on Sports Bit. Betting Insight today. Okay. So. Well, you're going to be on. Uh, so that so the two official picks for you today, and I'm going to take the uh, under eight and a half in, yeah. in in the Mets Miami game as well. And I guess that's going to be uh, that's going to be it for me. And uh, that's about it. That we've mm. covered almost all the games today. Mike Brenner, you want to tell someone about uh, yeah. something about hey, the sports book? I review? sure do. You know what? There's uh, the, uh, the conflict resolution had mm -hmm. another Twitter follower that had a situation, and I'm not really? exaggerating. They told me. Yeah. They told you about yes, it. Yes. Yes. Mm. And uh, SBR jumped on it right away, and the guy just called, not called, to, sent me a tweet thanking me. Really? Right, for the response oh. and how quick it was resolved. I don't know much about that end of it because I haven't had those situations, but the times I've saw it, Pete, all right, it is. It's the real deal. You can't go wrong with SBR, all right, and you're still getting great bonus. There's still some books giving good bonuses mm -hmm. for football, so take advantage of it. Kind of a somber day, but you know what? It's never, never a bad day to take advantage of that book and beat them, so go ahead and do that, and number 16, love you. That's okay. just for you, Jose. And, uh, yeah, that conflict resolution is, of course, a free service that SBR provides. All right, we'll be back tomorrow for the Tuesday card. Let's get it done. Go Marlins. Research before you bet. Be sure to check out SBR Picks for the best game predictions, breakdowns, and much, much more.